In the last 20 years, we've seen an enormous explosion of technology. There's no doubt that expanding our knowledge and improving our world is a good thing. But there are several technologies that many experts feel are not adding true value. They claim that companies are spending billions on these technologies just because they sound cool. Today, we're going to examine seven of these controversial technologies that many feel are a waste of time. Stay tuned, this is MindGuild. One exciting new technology being pursued by Google and several other big companies are self-driving cars. These self-driving cars would be beneficial as they could help disabled and elderly people get around and would ideally ensure that distracted driving is a thing of the past. However, companies are having difficulty getting approval to test these cars, even in the liberal state of California. There's also the question of how safe they really are and other legal arguments. But there's a huge moral argument of how driving software should evaluate risk. There are those who claim the self-driven car should react as a normal driver and strive to protect itself first. And then there are those who feel the self-driven car should take action to minimize overall damage, even if it means allowing its passengers to die. It doesn't look like these moral and legal arguments will be resolved anytime soon. Number two, predicting the future of mankind. Finding out about the future is something that human beings have been trying to do for as long as history has been written. In every age, there's been some sort of fortune teller that supposedly provided answers to the masses. This goes back to the mighty oracle in ancient Greece. Today, there are actually several huge projects that are attempting to actually predict the future of mankind. They have combined several banks of supercomputers that constantly comb through data at extremely high speeds to assess societal trends. At present, they claim that these computers are about 43% accurate in predicting human behavior. They believe that soon to be released quantum computers will greatly improve their accuracy. However, Many experts feel that this is a great waste of time that could otherwise be spent on things that are more needed in our world. Number three, achieving immortality. People throughout the ages have been obsessed with becoming immortal. Even in our literature, we read about countless stories of lifelong quests attempted by the story's protagonist in order to become immortal. In our society today, there are countless studies that are attempting to achieve immortality either directly or indirectly. For instance, we have learned to clone living things and are now creating bodily organs with 3D printers. We are even learning to attack and prevent specific diseases within a specific person based on their DNA structure. Many argue that all of these advances are pursuing immortality in a world that is already struggling to feed its hungry and shelter its homeless. Others claim that prolonging life is always a worthy cause. What do you think? Number four, creating an artificial consciousness. Sci-fi lovers have always been enchanted with the idea of having a fully functional robot or artificial being who is extremely intelligent and could help them make difficult life decisions. While there have been some studies in the past about artificial consciousness, it is actually not something that is being very heavily pursued at the present time. The big obstacle right now is that we really don't even understand what makes up a human's consciousness. Even the very best research out there doesn't even come close to knowing why humans are aware of their existence. Not only that, 
experts like Elon Musk and Bill Gates have publicly spoken against the potential dangers of dealing with an artificial consciousness. Number five, allowing our power grids to be controlled in a network. Most of us take our power for granted until it goes out. We forget that it takes an enormous amount of work to keep our lights on 24-7. Worse yet, we are not even aware of how easily we could lose our beloved electricity. Many experts are warning us of the potential dangers and risks to our society as we allow more and more of our power grids to be connected and controlled in a network. Even though these grids have countless fail-safes, there are thousands of hackers out there that are working around the clock trying to get access of our power grids. Enemies worldwide fully understand the damage they could inflict on our society if they had control of these power grids. Number six, automating our homes and appliances. Here's another set of technologies that can be chalked up to science fiction movies. We have all seen how cool it would be to have all of our appliances function automatically as if they were reading our minds. We are now seeing some of these conveniences come true right before our very eyes. Several household appliances can now be programmed for our convenience. For instance, we can have our coffee pots brew our coffee precisely when we need it. Or we can control our home's temperature and security systems from either the internet or a phone app. How great is that? However, there are those who argue that these are not conveniences at all. In fact, they make our lives more complicated. Data actually supports this as companies promote these new high-tech products, but consumer interest actually declines over time. Number seven, touchscreen technology. Touchscreen technology is one of those things that actually became a self-fulfilling prophecy. We were amazed by the great science fiction movies during the 1980s when we saw characters actually touch video screens and issue commands as they did it. Shortly after, we began seeing this technology all over the place and we could use touchscreens on various devices. But as we dealt with touchscreen technology over the years, we have discovered that it is actually very inaccurate. And while touchscreens may feel futuristic, they even make typing slower. In fact, it is a huge step back from simply using a computer and mouse. We thank you for taking time out to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it if you would hit the like button below and leave a comment about your thoughts. And don't forget to share it with some of your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future discussions. Until next time, this is MindGuild.